This Learn Loads mini lesson involves the rules about actus reus and emissions in criminal law. One way of defining actus reus is to say that it involves an act, in other words, doing something. For instance, the actus reus for theft involves taking property that belongs to another. This requires the accused to take active steps to do something, whether it's breaking into a car or removing something from a shop. On the other hand, omissions, in other words not doing something, will not generally result in a crime. Imagine that you see a stranger in the road who will inevitably be hit by a moving vehicle. Are you under a legal duty to act, for example by jumping into the road to push the stranger to safety, or maybe just shout a warning? If the person is injured or dies, can you be held liable under the criminal law if you did nothing? The answer to this question is almost certainly no. Having said that, there are types of situation where the courts have decided that a mere omission can amount to actus reus. All four of these situations involve looking in some way at whether there is a duty for the defendant to act. These situations are 1. Where the defendant has some kind of special relationship with the victim, such as being a parent. 2. Where the defendant has assumed responsibility for a person. 3. Where the defendant has created a dangerous situation. 4. Where the defendant is obliged to act due to a contractual obligation. Now, let's look at each of these four kinds of omission in turn. Firstly, where a special relationship exists. Parents of young children, husbands and wives are under a duty to protect their children or spouses from serious harm. For example, in Downs, the defendant's child was very ill. Downs chose not to call a doctor. The man was a member of a religious sect called the Peculiar People who believed in the power of prayer instead of medicine. When the child died, Downs was convicted of manslaughter. Secondly, where the defendant has assumed responsibility for a person. In R and Stone and Dobinson, the defendants lived together. Stone's mentally ill sister, Fanny, lived with them and they looked after her. Fanny developed a serious eating disorder. The defendants made half-hearted attempts to get help, but somehow Fanny never saw a doctor. She became severely ill and malnourished over time and eventually died. The Court of Appeals st found Stone and Dobinson guilty of manslaughter. Lord Justice Lane said that this situation was not the same as that of a stranger at risk of harm. The defendants had undertaken to look after Fanny. They should have taken proper care of her and called a doctor. Their omission could be treated as the cause of death. Thirdly, where the defendant has created a dangerous situation. Omitting to do something about a dangerous situation that you have caused can amount to actus reus. Take the example of Miller. Miller was squatting in a house. One night he fell asleep while lying on a mattress smoking a cigarette. When he woke up he saw that he dropped the cigarette in his sleep and the mattress was smouldering. He did nothing about it. He simply moved to another room and went back to sleep. The house caught fire. The defendant's conviction for the crime of arson was confirmed by the House of Lords. Lord Diplock said that arson may be committed by not only doing something that could cause a fire, but also where the defendant had caused the fire by not taking steps to put the fire out or call the fire brigade. The fourth situation is where the defendant is obliged to act due to a contractual obligation. A duty to act can arise from a contract, especially a contract of employment. For example, in Pitwood, a railway employee was supposed to keep a level crossing gate shut whenever a train was about to pass. He forgot to shut the gate, with the result that a man was hit by a train and killed when crossing the line with his hay cart. The gatekeeper was held liable for manslaughter. So, to sum up, although omissions will not usually provide aptus reus, the four exceptions to this are 1. A special relationship with the victim, 2. Where the defendant has resumed, assumed responsibility for someone, 3. Where the defendant has created a dangerous situation, 
for where there is a relevant Thanks. contractual obligation. You might like to try these activities. Study the two examples coming up. Consider whether A. Julian and B. Jenny might have actus reus for the offence of manslaughter. Example A. Julian is a hospital surgeon on call. This means he may be rung at home and called into work when necessary. Late one night, Julian is telephoned by his hospital while playing chess. The hospital want him to come and perform an emergency operation. He finishes the game before setting off for the hospital. This involves a 30 minute delay. The patient who is admitted for the emergency op dies. Example B. Tom, age 19, lives with his older sister Jenny and her husband. One night, Tom is involved in a fight and is stabbed. Tom staggers home, extremely intoxicated and also seriously injured. As he goes to his room, Jenny sees that his clothes are bloodstained and that Tom looks unwell. She does nothing to help him. The next day, Tom is found dead in his room. To find out more about learnloads.com resources for A-level business and A-level law, visit learnloads.com. Created using Powtoon.